Today, let's talk about a new topic. This is under the same banner of the human condition. Clarity in life. How important is clarity in our lives? Do we have clarity in our work? Do we have clarity in our planning? Do we have clarity in whatever that we do? And what are the factors that actually affect our clarity? Let's begin this episode. Um, and the topic I want to talk about is what's more important, confidence or clarity? You know, a lot of us are very confident in what we can do in life and where we'll go based on our, maybe our skills, maybe our degrees, maybe, you know, whatever, we're pretty confident. But what happens when life throws you a curveball and throws a curveball in such a way that the confidence is shattered? What do you do then? What is the next step? You know, in this fast-paced moving world, what do you do? Imagine the situation in which you've been doing something for, let's say, X amount of years, and you're very good at it. But slowly, 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 you've been noticing that your, you know, your business is going down, 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 down. COVID was the best example of this. COVID taught us. COVID taught us exactly how the mode of business now has changed. How things in business have changed. A lot of people's confidence was shattered. Jobs were lost. Many of them didn't even know where to go. That's where you need clarity. Okay, I'm doing this right now. If this doesn't work out, what's my next plan? If that doesn't work out, what's my next plan? When you're clear as to where you want to go, look, everyone has a very similar end goal in life. Everyone, I mean, you know, a lot of people, everyone find a different way of reaching there. But the end goal is the same. You know, there's a reason why some people reach there and stay there is because they have a certain clarity in their life. They're very clear in their heads. Okay, if I'm going to plan, I'm going to plan in such a way, in case something happens, I know I've got something to fall back on. <clears throat> and clarity also helps, you know, bring in a certain amount of patience in your life. And it's that patience that helps you see through tough times. But if you're just confident, it depends what are you confident about. Are you just confident about your skills? Are you just confident about your degrees? What happens tomorrow if your confidence or skill okay, have zero value in the job market? Where do you go from there? What do you do from there? Is there a middle way? Is there a middle way where you are so clear in your head, okay, I'm going to do just this, but maybe I might, you know, not do, let's say, branch A of the subject, I might shift to branch B of the subject. How good I, I mean, how good am I on branch B of the subject? This is what we'll be talking about in like, you know, the further episodes. Clarity, on the other hand, gets affected in many ways. It's not just confidence. <laughs> Sometimes it's your own complex, be it inferiority or, you know, superiority or power or like, you know, I don't know, the poverty mindset or something. Your mindset also, like, you know, your mindset disturbs your clarity. There's a reason why I said it disturbs your clarity because if your mindset is disturbed, you know, you can never be clear in what you're doing. You'll be running around like a headless chicken. 
right? So with, with this, I'd like to kind of end this episode and like, you know, but before that, there's one thing also I'd like to bring in. When does a person actually start having clarity in life? That's a very tricky question. You remember us as children, when we were children, we wanted to be either a doctor or an engineer or a businessman or a pilot or whatever. We had so many dreams that, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. We want to do, we want to do so many things. We were never clear. You know, many times our parents would say, all right, you can't do this, do this. Because, you know, a lot of things are based on your grades. Have we actually lost the meaning of the word clarity in our lives? Do we actually understand what clarity is? I know people who say, okay, I have a plan for the next 10 years. And they're ready for the losses that may or may not come in, but they are prepared. You know, and that's a person with clarity. And then you have another person who says, oh, no, 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 I'm going to do this. It's exactly how things are going to work and it's going to go absolutely fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Things crash. That's what I meant when I said confidence versus clarity. I'll see you in the next episode.